She just took one pill. Then everything went wrong. Welcome to Smile Baz, where real cases meet real decisions. Today, something went terribly wrong during a routine dental appointment. This is the story of a 30-year-old woman, a simple antibiotic, and an emergency that could have cost her life. In the setup, she came in for scaling and a restoration. Nothing unusual. Because of her history of chest infections, her dentist gave her 3G of amoxicillin as antibiotic prophylaxis. 45 minutes later, she felt hot, dizzy short of breath, and her face and was breaking out in hives. Oh, the emergency begins. The rash spread. Raised, red, itchy patches across her cheeks, lips, arms. She couldn't breathe properly. Her heart was racing 120 BPM. Her blood pressure dropped to 8050. What's happening? Anaphylaxis and a life-threatening allergic reaction. Now what you must do immediately. Lay the patient flat. Call for help. Administer oxygen. Get the emergency drug kit. Inject adrenaline, 500 mil CG IM or 1000 in the thigh. Then chlorphenamine, 10 milligram, and hydrocortisone, 100, 200 milligrams. Start IV fluids if hypotension continues. The critical five minutes. Every second counts. Anaphylaxis can lead to airway closure, circulatory collapse, and death. Fast. Even after the patient stabilizes, you cannot relax. Adrenaline wears off fast. Symptoms can return. Late phase reactions can hit hours later. We in what this case teaches us. Always check for drug allergies. Always monitor for at least one hour after giving antibiotics. Every dental clinic must have an emergency kit and know how to use it. Know the signs of type I hypersensitivity. You're not just fixing teeth, you're saving lives. What if, what if she was a child? Adjust adrenaline dose. What if you gave penicillin to an allergic patient? No vomiting, go straight to meds. What if you have no IV access? Prioritize adrenaline and oxygen. Can anaphylaxis happen even if she never reacted before? Yes, sensitization is sneaky. Mean a word she survived thanks to quick recognition and the right response. This case is a wake-up call for every dental professional. If you're not ready for this, your patient may not walk out of your clinic. Thanks for watching Smile Baz. Like, share, and comment below. Would you know what to do if this happened in your chair?